to the moon. That is the mission for NASA. The Orion spacecraft landed in Mansfield and today it'll make its way to the research center in Sandusky. Meg Shah is live at the Mansfield Alum Airport this morning. Meg, it is going to be quite the mission to move the spacecraft. Yeah, absolutely, Katie. ODOT and NASA have spent the last four years planning on how to get the Orion spacecraft up to the Plum Brook facility, trying to figure out how to get that 48,000 pound spacecraft up to the research facility slowly and safely. Now, this is what the Orion is inside right now. It traveled here yesterday from the Kennedy Space Center in this plane, which is called the Super Guppy. The Orion is now officially the largest and heaviest to have ever flown inside the Super Guppy. Now, moving it to Plum Brook, though, will be a slow process because it can only move at 25 miles per hour, and they've got a 43-mile journey ahead of them. Power crews even replaced more than 300 utility poles with larger ones along the route so that it won't be a problem. Once Orion arrives at Plum Brook, it will go undergo four months of testing to simulate space travel. Now, if the spaceship passes, it'll be used to land the first woman on the moon in 2024. Astronaut Doug Wheelock says this is a one of a kind spacecraft that they're dealing with. So all of our handling is something we've never done before. So uh, but at NASA, that's our bread and butter. You know, we just we take the next uh, challenge and we and we just figure out how to do it. So we're very excited. Now, just in the last 10 minutes, a lot more crews have arrived here outside of the Super Guppy this morning. Uh, they will get the spacecraft off of the Super Guppy, put it onto a 135 long uh, flatbed truck, and then make that trek north. So as soon as we see any more movement here, of course, we will keep you updated here from the Mansfield-Lom Airport. Reporting live, Meg Shaw, News 5.